Hello people, this is um, my new uh, marine tank, it's a 28 inch cube, it's about, uh, I think it works out about 360 or 380 litres, sorry no 360 and I think the sump is about, I thought it was 50 but apparently it works out to be 80 of usable um, water, not usable, I mean not like at operating level that's what it holds, but um, yeah, I thought when I see the pictures of it, when um, someone asked me if I was interested originally, um, I thought it was just like another one of the cubes that I've got. That, well, not a cube, it's a, you know what I mean, but one of the little, little small ones. But yeah, when I went and see it, I was quite impressed with it, to be honest. It's the quality of the, um, the actual thing itself and the cabinet, everything. It's, it's not your usual sort of MDF or. Um, even like it does, even the ones the best I've seen that of the MDF ones is like um, the Red Sea ones and even that one compared to this it's like it's like um, sorry I've got some notification come on my phone yeah it's um, it's like pro it's wood proper wood but it's got like this glass thing over the t uh, it's like a really thin layer of glass over the top but it was made for um, the owner of one of the biggest marine supply companies in um, the UK. He had it, that's why it was uh, built to such a high spec. Uh, the glass, I'm having trouble putting uh, wave makers and that on it. It's um, 16 mil and it's 22 on the bottom. It's like ridiculously heavy for the size of it. But um, the sun underneath is just the same size, just exactly the same underneath. But um, inside, um, the only thing I've changed. Is, because, um, is originally I had, um, well, I'm trying to think what come with this, it come with an auto top up and some other bits and bobs but um, I need the skimmer and all that so I went out and got um, one of these. See I've been, so far I've, been, I've only really used Deltec and I've been quite impressed with them but um, someone warned me against getting the newer version of the 1455 that, uh, that I already had because they said that um, the DC pumps were made by I think it was Jabeo and they're not the most reliable apparently for the, the DC pumps they put on the skimmers so someone said to me to get if I can get the older um, ones with the aqua B pumps or whatever it was they were using then so I managed to find this at my local mainland it's a 1350 but it was literally brand new and um, the bloke in there um, said it's the local one so I know the people in there but they were saying that he had been on there for about five years so I've got that for I think it was about 150 or 160 I think I paid for that. I can't actually remember because I bought quite a few bits at the same time. But it was cheap for what they are. But yeah, I've got that in there. I've got a shit ton of um, Super X. I've got all the egg crate and that now. I'm going to build a little rack light stand thing so I can just lift it in and out to um, like sort out the detritus and that that they collect up there. Um, I still haven't got the pipe work sorted out properly yet. It's still um, soft plumb with the uh, PVC hose in, but what it is, is originally it's really quite complicated because the way it's been hard to run this tank and every single part of it has been good, so it all had to be cut apart and where it had to be cut because of the joints you couldn't really leave much hanging out so it was a nightmare to get sorted, but um, I've altered the bits, so I've had to get it, oh, there was a place near here that does um, hot tub and swimming pool supplies and they're the only ones that I could find that do 25 mil, but they've moved where they are now. So um, I thought by the time I pay petrol and all that up there in um, the motor I've got at the minute, it's going to be, you know what I mean? It'd be cheaper just to order it online, so that's what I've done off of eBay. But um, yeah, the way that it came originally, it would come down into three separate filter socks. And I mean, that's too much of a headache, what, to have that many filter socks constantly on hand and all that. I'm new to this as well, and new to some, so. You know I, mean? I don't have to worry about nutrients being built up rotting in the tank so uh, um, I've got it coming down into one at the minute so I've only got one sock to worry about and then I've got a set of sponge there as well to catch any other particles that might get through but um, at the minute I've got um, a maroon clown in there maroon, um, what was it, it was sold to me as yellow flash or some shit like that but it's got the uh, yellow markings on it as opposed to the white but kind of aggressive it's like this but, um, I can't go back for you, it really shows up on this lighting, but could look if it's the something like this blue side, so it's not really the best, but it's all I've got that fits under there for now. But um, up to the tank, 
Yeah, I've got um, no fish. I've got the yellow tang. Um, uh, the tang, I think that tang now, I think was in the other tank as well when I first done the luck well, when I done the first video on this. But yeah, I've got the porcupine in here now, and I should have turned the lighting up really. But being a prick, I haven't. It looks a lot brighter in person. Well, you can see that coralline algae growing. It's been coming along really quick, guys. With the purple stuff there. Yeah, yeah, this puffer is going to have to go back because then when I bought him, I was told, yeah, um, he may eat corals, but he'll definitely eat any cleanup crew, but um, he'll leave your fish alone. Well, the first day he was in there, he had one of my Clark pounds, the male, um, he had a couple of them green coralists, which I weren't too fussed about, to be honest. They just come as part of a deal on some stuff I bought, but um, well, I don't dislike them, but. You know I mean, uh, it's, it's not the same monetary value when you're first setting up and that is what the clowns are. They're, in my local maiden head, the black and white Ocelaris, they're like uh, 30 quid each. So yeah, it all adds up this marine, marine stuff, but yeah, at the minute I've got the, I hope there ain't a problem because I've got the emergency overflow capped off to stop the noise because I need to have a tap to regulate the flow underneath. So I've got the pump turned all the way up. But um, yeah, I'm going to be getting this rectified as soon as the pipe work turns up. But I mean, I'm indoors anyway at the minute until the pipe work comes, so I've got my eye on it. But um, the light that's on there at the minute is the uh, AI Hydra 52 HD. That was the one I had on the Aqua One. This tank's getting set back up. I literally only shut it down because I needed all the live rock and all that to start up the um, new tank with. So I shut down the acrylic which I've uh, sold now because it's although it's a nice tank it's a real pain in the ass with that built-in sump because things like protein skimmers it then limits you to hang on the backs and that at the time I hadn't seen the little Tunsy 9004s if I had it done I probably would have kept it and used one of them but oh well you live and learn didn't you but at the minute I've got the Wavepoint um, T5 high output on there but that won't be staying either um, let's go in the, my AI is um, going back onto the onto the little uh, Aqua One tank this weekend because um, what this what happened was is this tank here come with a Radeon uh, Generation Four uh, XR15, but although it was sufficient, it's like personally I think it needs the XR30 for this tank. So I'm meant to do part X, part X in it this weekend with um, a fella in Essex in Braintree. So I'm going to give him um, my XR15 and £100 on top and um, something else I'm giving him. And he's giving me uh, the XR30. So that will have the XR30 on it and then this AI will be on there. Um, inside, this one's pretty much similar to I had it last time apart from... Oh, I like a prick. I broke the, um, the intake for the skimmer when I was shutting this tank down originally. And so I've had to go and traipse all the way to Croydon to pick up the just the body from one that someone had on eBay. But I took all the parts off there and I, um, it was a like, really good nick. These are still £360 on eBay now. So I'm inclined just to keep it and use it on this tank as opposed to getting rid of it. But it's a Deltec, so. You know what I mean? Everything I've heard about, and they're not bad, and it's done the job since I've had it. I mean, it's way, way done a way better job than this um, the original one that I had that come with it. I never actually used this; I only used this when um, I broke this one, and I had to use it. And I really weren't impressed with it. It's got the same power pump as the um, Delta Six, two thousand liters an hour on it. Um, I think I'm not sure what it does on air. This one. I think it's 600. No, is it? No, they say I think they rate it up to a 600. But basically, yeah, that's just going to be in the cupboard for an emergency. But yeah, it'll be the bell tick on there. Um, I've already got the Ecotech pump. Um, I've got what else have I got to go on there? See, that's the problem. This is where I messed up. I bought a, st a pump that's too small for anything, an Ecotech too small for anything other than this tank, which at the time was going to be my only marine tank, and then I bought this one. So now, um, 2,000 litres an hour, won't cut it on a tank like this. So, um, uh, I've also bought some other lights, which um, uh, I'll chop and change what it is I was going to do. So, 
I sort of settled on keeping these two now. But um, I've got a deal worked out with my local um, shop where I'm going to be getting one of their display tanks, which is a Red Sea reefer, for a discount in um, all white. But that's what I've been after, and I keep getting more and more tanks, and it's because I want one of them. And then what I'm just going to be doing then is, I'll probably have the three to be honest. But, um, yeah, it's all going well other than that. So far, so good. I've been testing every day, um, topping up with bacteria. Um, I, I haven't used the bacteria as much as I did, uh, as I thought I would, because, um, like with the Fritz stuff, the Fritz number nine, you have to leave the skimmer off for four days. So the amount of shit that mine pulls out of the water, it worries me a bit about having it off. I mean, I try and run it as dry as I can. Well, not as dry as I can, but pretty dry. And it uh, collects quite a bit right, in a short period of time. I've got the bubble made with uh, nitrate reactor down, uh, fluidized, uh, fluidized media reactor. So uh, I've got a shitload of uh, Cyprex in there. And uh, you want to top up, which, oh, this is what I mean about not planning things properly. When I set this tank up, I thought I'd already started putting water in it and all that. Then what happened, a bit in the back there, that glass compartment, it's a worse water for an auto top up, holds about 40 litres. And um, I'm going to have to try and get. Well, the ones that come with this tank, the auto top up, the double one. It won't, I won't be able to get it in between the gap at the top, but the small one I've got in there at the minute and now, I will be able to, so that's all going to, when I get it re this weekend, I'm going to have um, all that stuff all sorted out as well, the auto top up, so I've got the reservoir, everything's then out of, out of view. But yeah, it's really um, well made this, all aluminium, with uh, wood and glass over the top. But, um, so yeah, you can get some good uh, deals out there on tanks, mine doesn't have to be that deal. Although to be fair, the lighting is one, one kick in the bollocks, I've got to uh, be truthful. Um, these lights here, these are, I think these are 550, uh, the AIs, the hydro 52s, the brackets about 100, and um, the XP, uh, sorry the XR30, I think they're about 350, 400, and again the bracket, but the one that I'm getting is the XR, which I think is about six, seven hundred. So yeah, it's the lighting that really hurts, and the skimmers ain't as bad as what um, I was told. But um, oh, I've actually ordered another skimmer, but um, I'm not sure what the condition of it's like yet. So when it gets here, I'll decide whether I'll be keeping that. It's a reef octopus, I think it's called a 150. Yeah, it's a one something anyway, but it's the smallest one that they seem to do readily in this country. But so I might replace the Deltec, uh, um, the MCE 600. But I know they're DC pumps, but I can't find any bad, um, like, bad write-ups about them or anything. So that's the only other. Um, well, no, sorry, the NIOS as well was another one that I liked, but it was just what come up at the time for what price. So. Alright, but cheers, thanks.